Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we are going to discuss link building, 12 ways to get other sites to link to yours. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Michelou Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return filing, I personally recommend you to Jeffrey Ressler CPA at 561 237 Five two six four. That number again is five six one two three seven five two six four. And you can visit his website at jrcpa.net. That is jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you from this podcast to receive his special rate for listening to the show. Thank you very much. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. Like I said, uh, this show's format has gone to three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, so be sure to subscribe to this show by going to my website, um, chaddecker.com. And you can fill out the short form on this the left-hand side of the page to subscribe, or you can subscribe through iTunes, uh, you can subscribe through YouTube, you can subscribe through uh, many other different sites that allow you to subscribe as well. So I encourage you to do so so that you can keep up with all these new shows and great content that I am producing. And I really appreciate all of you that are sharing my content with your social networks. I, that is the best thing that you can do to pay me back for giving back for all my time and efforts in putting this show together. And I, I, de- I highly encourage you to do so. So uh, the other thing I'd like to make an announcement before I get into the nut- nuts and bolts of the show is that we are now accepting sponsors for the show. And there's two types of sponsorships right now that are available. And that is just like how I opened the show. We give you a 30 to 60 second spot at the beginning of the show advertising your products and services to over 40,000 people who are or download in a-, in a given month. And now that we are doing three times a week, the download rate should increase exponentially. So we encourage you to contact us by going to chaddecker.com and contacting us, telling us that you are interested in becoming a show sponsor. The other way that we can spon- uh, you can sponsor the show is not only getting the uh, beginning of the show, but you can also purchase us to actually do a whole interview and showcasing your business and services as a whole program. So uh, please go to uh, chaddecker.com. Dot com and that's spelled C H A D D E C K A R D dot com or you can go to C Deckard dot com as well. And please just contact us through the contact button and tell us what your interests are. All right, now let's get down to business. Today we are going to talk about link building and twelve ways to get other sites to link to yours. This is really important when it comes down to search engine optimization and getting your site out there and getting a lot of organic, uh, increasing your organic ranking as well as getting uh, organic free traffic to your website. So, there I'm going to talk about uh, a book uh, and it's a, a really cool book that I got a lot of this information from from my research and. In their book, The Ultimate Guide to Link Building, experts Eric Ward and Garrett French offer straightforward advice to help you earn a higher search engine ranking and increase the authority and popularity of your site. In this uh, program, the authors will, I will demonstrate to you how the offers will show you how to craft an email that will get more people to respond to your link requests. So when you're going out there trying to get in a hold of people, uh, these people, these guys, Eric and Garrett, have come up with a standardized sort of a boilerplate email in order to send to people that actually is converting and working very well with them and now they want to share that with the rest of the world. 
Email boxes are busy, and you need a way to make your email link requests stand out from hundreds of others. And here are 12 elements your link request should contain, followed by the logic behind them. Although these may seem obvious, the overwhelming majority of link requests don't contain them. So adopting these practices will set you apart from the competition from your target's attention. Number one, a subject line that follows any stated directions given on the site you want to link to yours. So what that means is on many sites with collections of links to other sites, for example, some of the about.com guides, the editor in charge of link evaluation selection often states that when asking for a link, you should follow specific directions. One of these is typically a special subject line, such as request for editorial consideration. If you haven't taken the time to look at the site carefully, or even if you have and you don't follow the stated link, Request directions. Don't be surprised if you never hear from them and don't get the link. Number two, the site's owner's name. It seems simple, but take the time to look through the site where you want the link and find the site owner's name. Address this person by name immediately in your email. To begin an email with Dear Webmaster or Dear Site Owner is to be deleted immediately because it looks like spam. Can't find a name on a website? Look for the phone number or call them. Or you can go to who is on the domain registry by going to Google, GoDaddy or any other domain registry and you know looking up the name. And it usually will tell you who the owner is. If you have a website with a personal URL in your name and someone sends you a Dear Webmaster link, it will be immediately obvious that you have just basically been spammed and or you've spammed someone else and they haven't really been to your site or you haven't really been to their site so it look like you're really you know engaging the person and really care and it's better to take that little extra time to the, the personal touch than to just blast it out there because no one's going to respond to you and, and in an efforts it's just like shotgunning at something that isn't even a target so what's the point it's just a waste of time it's not about quantity it's about quality if this person really had been to your site, remember, your name would have been used first thing and you would have seen your name pop up. And you know, people overlook this mistake all the time, but you'll increase your chances of getting your foot in the door if you take the time to address address the site owner's specific name. There's nothing more sweet than what a human loves to hear is their own name. That's just basics. That's going back to how to win friends and influence people for So, number 3, your name. Again, it's just common courtesy. The person from whom you're requesting a link is a human being, and so are you. A first line like, hello, Mr. Ward, my name is Bill Thompson, tells Mr. Ward that Bill looked at his site and respects basic conversational etiquette. It also shows Mr. Ward that you didn't send that same email to 4,000 other people. Number four, the URL of the site. Using word a wording such as, I see that you on your site you have the following content at the below URL. Well, that allows you to use a template approach, but also shows the site owner you know their name, site, and specific URL. You're obviously not lying to them or spamming them, but you don't show them, you don't show, um, well, excuse me, I'd say, um, but don't show fake sincerity or imply a friendship when in fact you've never met them. You know, be professional, be courteous and to the point. People get turned off by emails from strangers who act like they're buddies. You know, you can't just go in there and act all friendly with somebody. You just you know, approach them in a conservative, professional manner and they'll respect you back in return. Number five, your site's name and the URL are hoping they'll link to you. For example, I am contacting you about my site called chaddecker.com, which is located at chaddecker.com. Okay, be very specific. Your site's name and the URL you're hoping they'll link to. Number six, the exact URL on their site where you think the link is a fit. With regard to your page located at uh, chaddecker.com, let's say. This is especially helpful for people who maintain large sites with hundreds or thousands of pages. Help them help you. So make sure that you know exactly where you would like them to place your link by just being kind of woozy and not being specific. Don't expect to get the best results again and them just to slap it on somewhere where it's not even relative. So do the homework for them. Make life easy. Number seven. 
a short paragraph that describes your site. Don't oversell your site or offer 76 reasons why they should link to it. If they like it, they will link to it. If it won't be your email that convinced them, it'll be because they looked at your site and determined whether or not it's link worthy based on their criteria and relativity. So put quality into your work, everything you do. The email isn't going to just be your only thing, but it does help because first impressions do count. So that's the first thing you're going to put forward, step forward. Now you've got that. Now you better have something to back it up with. Number eight, the exact URL from your site you want them to link to. You need to mention that. Since I have a splash page that has some flash elements, you may prefer to use this URL for linking and then you put your, your your URL there. So that's kind of how I would say it. You need to put the exact URL of your site you want them to link to. So you tell them this is what I want you to link to and you give it to them and you say, you know, since I have a splash page that has some flash elements, you may prefer to link to this. So uh, that's being courteous. Um, number nine, a valid email address in response to any request made to that address. You know, it goes something like this. If you would like to contact me about this, please feel free to reach me at my personal email address below. Then list your email address. So you're inviting them and giving them a valid email address that works on how to contact you. Now, the number 10 is you want to provide your phone number, of course. So, or you can say something like, or if you prefer, you can also call me at this phone number. If you're seeking a link from a site where a return link is required, you might also want to include, this is number 11, confirmation that you've added a link to their site. So that's important too. And number 12, finally, the URL on your site where they can see the link to their site. It's very important to reciprocate. So the bottom line is by recognizing the individuals on the receiving end of your link request, you immediately move out of the spam realm in their minds. When most folks receive link letters, <coughs> they look for tall tale signs that they were singled out individually. If they spot an obvious bulk link seeker, they usually delete it immediately. This means you can't automate this process and it means you have to create and send each link request one at a time, as you should. Sometimes each site takes an entire three clicks or two minutes, big deal. This is a lifelong link you're seeking. Remember, once somebody places it, it pretty much will stay there indefinitely, be forgotten, and end of story. So. Uh, Think of the lifetime value of what you'll get out of the efforts that you put into this by individually taking the time to uh, set up quality links back to your site and helping other people as well. I greatly appreciate you tuning in to my show. That's about it for this show. If you like my show, please feel free to subscribe, share, like, post, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate all your efforts. Because you are part of what makes this show a success. Well, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.